continuing from my last video uh, where we stopped here we wanted to prove that the perimeter of this triangle ABC is 24 plus 8 root 3 centimeters so going back now this I've drawn from the let's go back now this is triangle ABC this is the center so and the whole length is uh, this is the diameter so we need to figure out AB and we need to figure out BC. We already know AC. AC is 16, so let us think about how to find AB and BC. We know that this angle, that is theta, or theta, is given to be pi by 3. So pi by 3, I like to think in terms of degrees. So pi by 3 is nothing but 60 degrees. So to make life easier, so I'm saying this is 60 degree. Okay, and I know that this angle, sorry, this side, this is a radius, this is center, so this is a radius and this is also a radius. Okay, so if this is 8, if this is 8 centimeters, this is also 8, and this is all, this is not drawn to scale, uh, let me make it better this doesn't look to be 8 so I'm going to slightly change it and now it's better seems better so this is this is 8 and this is also 8 okay so now you have to use a bit of uh, geometry so if this is 8 and this is 8 if two sides are equal the opposite angles are also equal the base angles are equal so uh, this is opposite to this. So uh, this and suppose this is this is I can say if this is x, this would also be x. Does it make sense? If you consider triangle AOB, uh, these two are the sides, so the base angles have to be equal. Okay. Now what do we know? So that's what I'm saying. If this is, this measures, this is eight. Sorry, this is x. This will also be x because they are the base angle of isosceles triangle. So that's a rule you can understand. So now I can say the three angles of a triangle adds to 180. So can I say x plus x plus 60 is equal to 180? So you can understand simple algebra: 2x plus 60 is 180 so 2x is equal to 120 so x is equal to 60 so what type of angle triangle is this this is an equilateral triangle so this is 60 this is 60 and this is also 60 okay so equilateral triangles are also equiangular so I can say this is this should also be 8 okay 8 centimeters I'm not, I'm not writing the centimeters now, now we need to figure out this. So I'm going to name that that side as x. So if this is again these two angles will be equal. This is eight and this is eight, and this is angles on a straight line. So if this is sixty, this has to be one twenty. So you can say this is thirty, and this is also thirty. Also in a different way, if you remember, angle inscribed in a semicircle is a right angle okay that also makes sense this is an angle inscribed in a semicircle so this is a right angle so let me draw that this angle is always a right angle and that's why this is 60 and this is 30 it does make sense okay now let us finish this off so let me bring back the c c was far away so this is c so you now remember the you should now remember the cosine rule okay so what's the cosine rule so let me write the cosine rule suppose let me draw a triangle the cosine rule is if you have if you know two sides and the included angle if you know two sides and the included angle the cosine rule so let me write the cosine rule if suppose this is the angle theta and uh, if if you know a and b and if you want to find c okay so 
so there's a cosine rule so let me write it here the cosine rule so let me write cosine rule you should be having this in your formula sheet so this is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared you can prove this very easily that minus 2ab cos theta so can we apply this cosine rule in this so you got two sides and the include so cosine rule can be used for two sides and if you know the included angle so we know two sides and the included angle and we want to find this. so you can compare your c with x so a with 8 and b with 8 and your theta with 120. So using the cosine rule, I'm going to write it here. Can I say x squared is equal to 8 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 times 8 times 8 times cos 120 degree. Okay, so this is 64 plus 64 minus 64 no uh, 64 times 2 isn't it 64 times 2 is 128 times cos 120 and if you know cos 120 uh, it is negative half but let us use the calculator so you don't need to know too many things so calculator so this I have to change, run, and my setting is always on radian, so I want to change this into degrees first, so that I'm sure that I'm working on degrees. So we know this is 64 plus 64 minus 128 times cos 120, which is 192, okay? So this is equal to x squared is equal to 192. And 192, uh, you can check that. You can factorize this. That is same as 64 times 3. Okay, 60 times 3 is 180 and 4 times 3 is 12. 180 plus 12 is 192. So I can say x is 8 root 3 just like that. So, x is 8 root 3. So, what is what is x? So, you can say your AB, what is AB? AB is 8. What is your BC? Let's go back to your diagram. BC is x. Am I right? BC is x, which is 8 root 3. And uh, you've got AC, which is the diameter, which is 16. So AC is 16. So perimeter of triangle ABC is 8 plus 16 plus 8 root 3, which is 24 plus 8 root 3 centimeter. See you in the next video.